craziest thing you said to your ex in an argument? Everyone only loves you so much because they don't know you like I know you. And that's all facts. People really do not know him the way that I know him or they wouldn't love him so much. And that's on dating a narcissist. And that's 100% true because everybody gets a different version of the narcissist. And the people closest to that narcissist get treated the worst. And if you're new here, I'm a narcissist. I actually have narcissistic personality disorder. To a narcissist or to a toxic person, reputation is absolutely everything. Reputation is up there damn near with air and money and success and things like that. So most narcissists love to have a good reputation and that protects them just in case the people closest to them who are getting treated terribly, in case they come out and say something about them, in case they come out and tell the truth that that person that everybody seems to love so much is actually treating them terribly behind closed doors. That person that a lot of people might look up to is actually a an evil person behind closed doors and they automatically, they verbally, mentally, physically, emotionally are abusing these people sometimes. So a lot of narcissists are out here doing good deeds for everybody around them except for the people closest to them their wife or husband or and or kids siblings the people closest to them and that creates a they creates a complex within the people closest to them and it makes them jealous it makes them feel like that they are the problem like why why is this narcissistic person treating everybody around him good except for me what what is it about me that it, you know that causes them to treat me this way what can i change about myself and this is the truth right here, y'all, coming from a narcissist. There's absolutely nothing that you can change about yourself that is going to make that narcissist treat you any better. I promise you that. You can bend over backwards, forwards, sideways. You can do a split, whatever you want to try to do to change who you are. It won't change how that narcissist is treating you. When you are married to a narcissist or that narcissist is your parent or something like that, you are the narcissistic person's emotional punching bag because a lot of like nar narcissists have limited emotional capacity. We don't have a lot of room for everybody else's emotions. So we go out through we go throughout the day dealing with everybody else's problems, trying to hold up this good reputation and things like that. So when we come home and uh, or, you know, when we come home from that long day of dealing with everybody else's stuff, we don't have time, effort, energy to deal with this stuff at home. So the stresses of the day, if that narcissist is not where they want to be in life, if that narcissist is not achieving what they want to achieve, they're going to take it on the people closer to them. And because that narcissist's reputation is so good that if you decide to go tell your truth about how they are treating you or the kids and things like that, people will question you. People won't believe you because like, hey, they don't treat me that way. What are you doing to them to make them treat you that way? The problem must be you because they have a good reputation. They're a good person. They make everybody laugh. They donate to charity. They do all these good deeds. So what are you doing to them to make them treat you that way? So a lot of victims and survivors keep quiet because people won't believe them. And that silence eats you up from the inside out. Hope this helps.